Good day. My name's uh, Ralph McDonald. I'm going to be showing you how to solve for the reaction forces in a simply supported beam. From MD Solids, I drew up this uh, beam with a pin support here and a roller support here with two forces. A P1 or F1 is 300 pounds down. Uh, F2 is 400 pounds down and these are the reaction forces I hope to find. First step. You'll draw a free body diagram of that uh, beam. The pin has two reaction forces. We'll call them RAX R A Y R B Y with a downward force there and there. I'll call it F1 which is 300 pounds. F2 which is 400 pounds. We make sure that we fully dimension our drawing here, our free body diagram. This is five feet, another five feet, and this is 15 feet. Gives us an overall dimension of 25 feet. So let me reiterate, you want a fully correct free body diagram of your beam or truss. In this case, we're doing a beam. So that is step one keeping that in front of you, we're going to do step two. Step two is look at all the forces in the X direction and set them equal to zero. Looking over here, we only have one force at A, R, A, X, which is in the horizontal direction or the X direction. So we will go ahead and state that uh, the sum of the forces in the X direction equals zero. So RAX equal to zero. So we found one of our forces. Let me uh, note that uh, this is based on um, F equals MA. Oh, in a static situation, we have no acceleration. So F equals mass times zero or F equals zero. Second step, third, that was the second step. Third step is to look at the sum of the forces in the y direction and set it equal to zero. All right, looking here, we've got several forces going up or down. We've got one, two, three, four forces going up and down. So let's uh, go ahead and state that sum of the forces in the Y equals zero. We've got RAY minus F1 minus F2 plus RBY equals zero. This was going up so it's positive. This was going up so it's positive. This was coming down negative. This was coming down negative. Let's plug in some numbers. 300 pounds in the downward direction, 400 pounds in the downward direction, and just simplifying the equation a little bit, we come up with RAY plus RBY equals 700 pounds. So that's as far as we can get on step three. Step four is a little more complicated. We need to look at the sum of the moments about a point and set that sum of the moments equal to zero. We're going to pick point A and look at all the uh, forces and distances which create moments about point A. Note we're going to have one, two, three, four, five terms in our uh, sum. 
this is going to be zero because that force passes through that point. This force passes through that point. You could also say that the zero, zero distance uh, between the line of action here and that point. Okay. Uh, also note that a clockwise force is, or excuse me, a counterclockwise force is going to be positive. A clockwise force is going to be negative, just like your pre-cal teacher would uh, state. So we got the sum of the moments about point A equals zero. I do want to state that counterclockwise is positive. That's not always an absolute. So let's, I said we're going to have five terms. So we have RAX, zero distance, plus RBY, which is a zero distance, minus F1 times 5 feet, minus F2 times 10 feet, plus RBY times 25 feet, and that is all going to equal to zero. So this is zero plus zero. Let's go ahead and plug in uh, my forces in there. So that is 300 pounds times 5 feet minus 400 pounds times 10 feet plus RBY times 25 feet equal to 0. Multiplying out, I get a negative 1,500 foot-pounds. I get a negative 4,000 foot-pounds plus RBY times 25 feet. That equal to zero. Now let me remind you again that because this force would want to tend to make this turn in a clockwise position, and this force making this turn about point A in a clockwise position, those are negative moments. So coming back here, we get uh, combine these two, bring them onto the other side, we get R B Y times 25 feet equals a positive 5,500 foot-pounds. Divide both sides by 25 feet. We end up with R B Y equals 220 pounds. Okay, one more step. Okay. Looking at the um, equation from 3, if you'll remember step 3 here, we came up with that equation, RAY plus RBY equals 700 pounds. Going ahead and plug in what we just uh, found in step 4, RAY plus 220 pounds equals 700 pounds. So solving this, RAY equals 480 pounds. Okay. And going back to MD solids, that's what we expected, RAY 480 pounds. RBY 220 pounds. And as you can imagine, just by using common sense, we've got the two weights here skewed to the left toward A. So A is going to have to hold up more force, um, not so much at B. That uh, common sense agrees that those answers seem to be right. Okay. Notice I gave you steps one through five. All my problems I do use those same steps um, and uh, I'll have a PDF file of these uh, this work uh, saved if you request it.
Thank you.